Hello everyone and welcome to Ocean Cadence. In our video today, we will be covering the topic of a shaft power limitation system or a shaft power limiter which in hindsight is also regarded as a Shapoli system. So let us start. To understand the importance or the role of a Shapoli system, first of all we need to understand in brief about what is the main regulation that has led to the implementation of such systems. So as we know that under Annex 6, the new designed as well as the existing engines are regulated for their greenhouse emissions through different indicators or different monitoring principles such as the EEDI, EEXI and CII or EEOI. So for existing ship systems which have the power or the capacity to go at a much higher range of output in terms of power but due to the existing regulation of the greenhouse gases and the emissions that they can do in terms of greenhouse gases that is the basically the carbon emissions they are not being allowed to go at increased rpms or power outputs that they generally can or used to in the past so how do we control or regulate this we do this by implementing a system that can in turn bar your engine from going into a range of operation where it exceeds the limits of emission and this is where a shaft power limitation system comes into play. A shaft power limiter is often confused with an engine power limitation system or an EPL. So just to give you a brief understanding, the basic difference between a Shapoli and an EPL is that EPL is implemented through hard wiring or basically implementation of something which is physical in existence and is implemented on your engine either through control on your governor or the movement of fuel racks or through different systems and is physically installed on your system or the engine to control and regulate its operation thus leading to regulated power output whereas a Shapoli the shaft power limitation system is basically a software or an electrical system that is installed on top of your existing control system for the engine to make sure that the operational parameters or the operator who is running the engine or basically the terms and conditions under which the engine is being operated is never exceeding in a way that the engine is demanded a power output which is more than what is being regulated by the EXI regulation. So now, how does the Shapoli system do this task of regulating the engine's power output? To first of all understand this, we need to go to the basics that any output from a rotating shaft, basically the output element as we can say of the engine through which we are taking out the power can be measured in terms of torque. So for this, we need a torque transducer. Now what is a torque transducer? Basically it has a shaft passing through a bushes and slip ring mechanism and also a rotary transformer within which when the shaft is rotating it can measure the output torque and convert it into an electric current. Now once this output is converted into an electric current obviously in a calibrated way that means every value of electric current output is corresponding to a certain torque or a power output from the engine. Then with the help of a current transducer, this electrical current output which was given within the dock transducer is then converted into a voltage signal or a voltage difference which can thus act further as a signal for our control system to regulate its operation. Now this signal from the current transducer is the final control signal or the electrical output that is going into our control panel and also going into a separate measurement calibration and recording device. Why is this recording device very important? Because this is the official system from where we can get to understand at a later stage. Let's say if there is an inspection or if there is let's say a voluntary disclosure of our engine's operation condition then at all points of time whether the engine was following the terms and conditions or the guidelines as per EXI and other regulations and the Shapoli was correctly in place this can be understood or dissected from the recording and the control system. Now the signal or the output which is going into the control panel and also into the final injection regulation system. So basically what we have on board is the governor system. 
Now imagine that you have a display or you have a control system implemented on your control panel. So where you can understand that yes, the Shapoli is in existence and it is also barring your operation range above a certain RPM so that you cannot run your engine above this. Now what happens when you try to run your engine above this RPM? So when you go into that range, first of all, it will trigger an error signal or basically an output on your panel itself that will let you know that you are exceeding that range and it depends on individual maker system but it either gives you a display signal or an indication or a beacon or something that tells you above this the engine is not going to give you more output but on the engines front what happens so when I try to basically increase the RPM, it is giving now without deep diving into the electrical and the other control system nuances of how the engine works. It in a nutshell gives a signal in the form of an output to the governor to basically adjust the fuel injection parameters or basically the rack and everything that will give you more fuel to inject into your engine and thus more power output. But now because the governor already has a dictating control signal from the shaft power limitation system when it is getting an input signal to further increase beyond that this primary signal acts as a limiter or a limitation. So it will never try to go beyond that RPM upon which it is prefixed. But one very important thing that we need to understand is that within our shaft power limitation system, we have soft as well as hard overrides that can help us to completely bypass this system. It can be in the form of a button, it can be in the form of trigger signal button which is available at the navigation panel or it can be done manually on the local location of the installation of the shaft power limitation panel as well. And why is this important? It is important because under conditions of extremely rough weather where the safety of life aspect comes into consideration or places such as high piracy or high risk areas where the safety of life again comes into place or safety of environment or safety of our seas and the vessel come into place at places like those we can indeed overrun but again as we already discussed that all of it is getting recorded into the system so later on a further justification of the bypassing of the system has to be provided adequately. Now for most of the existing engines, let's say especially the manual engines as we know them traditionally, which do not have much of an electrical implementation from the past like an electronic engine. These systems work in tandem with the engine power limiter or the engine power limitation system as well. So basically, even though the governor is receiving a signal or let's say a control signal where it is being asked to further increase the output of the engine now because again an EPL or an engine power limitation system is in place it will never go beyond that and this is being collaborated or corroborated with the output of the shaft power limitation system that is the Shapoli which is installed onto the engine. So a physical limiter or a limitation system working in tandem with an electronic control and limitation system is how a number of manufacturers or a number of companies now regulate their overall output of the engine. Now another small contradiction just before we finish this up can be why do we need two systems to perform more or less the same job is because first of all as I told that the roles of the systems are different acting on the electrical and the mechanical front and also because of the unique feature of Shapoli where it varies the signal with respect to the power output and thus it gives you basically a live monitoring system and in comparison to EPL which is basically just installed to limit the upper end of your power output and also because as I said earlier that everything is being recorded digitally so it also acts as a backup of the interpretation of when your engine was doing what and it acts as a health check and the compliance check of your engine as well at a later stage. Now again, because the systems are very new in circulation, so the installation of it and the features that you might see on board may very well differ because the manufacturer decides what are the essential elements that they need to install and because these installations are not hard and fast in terms of guidelines, so you might see difference in design as well. But you can correlate it with the explanation that we just gave you to understand the basic principle of working. 
I hope that this elaborate understanding helps you to figure out all the doubts that you have about the Shapoli system. And if you still have any questions, feel free to drop into the comment section and let us know and we'll be happy to resolve them for you. And also do like and subscribe our content and share it with your friends. Thank you.